it is really difficult to find a mural of this quality that represents the era of the 60s and 70s. This, and, and, and a prime example of psychedelic artwork, right? Where the artist himself embeds that experience into the work. But there is no other mural that qualifies better than this one. So thank you everybody for coming today. This is a very important day for us. We really appreciate all of you guys coming out, showing your enthusiasm. We were here not long ago with some of the people that Bay mentioned, um, Russ Solomon, Ali Yousefi, and many of you were here when we did that groundbreaking. And to be here now to celebrate the restoration of this mural is really, um, I think, a really touching moment because it brings back to life those people who've gone before us. I, I have not had the uh, chance to meet Frank Carson <laughs> who's sitting right here, so I need to do that. Give it up for Frank, yeah. everybody. Uh, first, I want to just start off and really thank Ali Yusuf because I don't think this project would have happened without him. Uh, we met about three years ago, and he called me up and, he, and we walked down here, and he was like, what do you think, can we, can we bring it back? Uh, I called him Seamus, we came down, we took a lot of photos, and talked about making this happen, and honestly, for myself, I, I remember this as a young kid, coming down here to Thursday Night Market on my skateboard, getting into trouble, and being mesmerized by this thing, even though it was already in quite a faded state. Um, it, even just being here the last two months and working on it, I've realized how much it's influenced my own art, because I kind of end up doing this weird psychedelic shit too. <laughs> um, anyways, honestly, like everybody who came through and helped us paint this, has, it's been amazing. And I'm not good at speeches, so I'm gonna pass it to Shanks. Okay, I wanna give a shout out to Russ and Ollie, Sophia, Sean Burner, Colleen Craig is not here, Andy Cunningham, Tiola Fonda, Francesca Johnnes, Daniel Mendoza, Bree McGill, uh, Jeff Muser, and Adam. Where's Adam? Adam? Psychedelic art is when an artist whose work has been influenced by psychedelic experience, and this artist acknowledges that impact of the psychedelic experience in the work. But Frank was the guy. This is his brain right here. And I'm so glad that it's the way it is. It looks the way it is now. I want to remind you of something, though. He was up there the same year they were tearing down the Alhambra, which existed for about 45 years. This has been here for 45 years, but we're here to celebrate not getting rid of it, but keeping it forever and ever. So everybody... See, Frank, you've got a standing ovation. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen this. I mean, once I finished it, I, I never came back to it again. You know, because Mitch and I spent 10 hours a day, 7 days a week, for an entire hot summer. <laughs> it was miserable. <laughs> Definitely, I think it's that way. I mean, again, like just painting murals for years, I always think more about, like, I, it's definitely for everybody, it but is. I always like yeah. more critical on myself for the other folks who paint, and like we're gonna look at it with a critical yeah. eye, and I think that because we're recreating Frank's work, the fact that he was ecstatic and stoked on it, and the fact that we got to actually meet him and he was able to make it out here was amazing. Such an you honor, know? yeah. Um, I think Sacramento in general, like I expected an amazing response because we all grew up with this thing, and, um, and we all wanted to see it brought back to life. Well, I used to hang out here when I 
was a teenager at Tower Records and I always admired this mural so it's been a, a real honor to be able to work on it. And one of the unique challenges of this project was to bring out the glory of the original mural and all its colorful grandeur, which we didn't exactly know what that was because we didn't have um, the right pictures with the right color and a lot of the mural had been disintegrated from sun damage. So that was a real challenge. And truly, if ever there was a scenario that was once in a lifetime situation, this was that, you know? So I'll never get this experience again. I'll never be able to get to go and recreate something that my father did and make friends and meet these amazing, talented people and get to be a part of this community that he was such a huge part of. And were the beginning, the souls of it. And today, I got to put his purple dot back on him, which to me is just like putting the cherry on top of a Sunday. That was just, I could cry thinking about that. All the people involved, from the artists to the developers to the city of Sacramento, that everybody came together and it was a pretty smooth coming together of all these different parts and often that's not the case but this time it was really smooth and of course you know there were problems on the team you know people would you know uh, Sean and I would argue about certain colors and then Frankie would make the decision <laughs> but that was pretty much kind of how it went down um, and it was it was good